Hi again, I'm Kitty Apolaskis and I'm a craft based designer and welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to be experimenting with cutting fabric on the Cricut Maker 3. Now you may already be a pro at this or perhaps you've never tried it before. Either way, the Maker 3 is the perfect tool to use if you want to make cutting fabric shapes for all your craft projects super easy and super accurate. I've designed this fabric coaster sewing project and I'm going to show you how I made these today using the Maker 3 and a few other basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. For this project you will need a Cricut Maker and mat with the fine point blade and rotary blade plus a Cricut Easy Press Mini or an iron. Colourful fabric in your choice of colours, I used cotton poplin. Some wadding and double sided fusible paper as well as some plain cardstock. Scissors, thread, a needle and pins plus of course your sewing machine. The first thing to do is find my free flower coaster project within Design Space. Just search for my profile Kitty Apolaskis to find it. Everything is ready to cut and the grey shapes are for the fusible paper, black for the cardstock and coloured for the fabric. Cut your fabric, cardstock and fusible paper to fit on the mat and hit make it to start the process. You'll need to switch from the rotary blade back to the standard fine point blade to cut the cardstock. Heat up your iron, or in this case Easy Press Mini, and begin pressing the fusible paper onto each shape. Then fuse each shape in place to bring your flower designs to life. Use the cardstock flower shape as a template to cut out your wadding. On your sewing machine, set your stitch to a tight zigzag. Pin the wadding underneath the top layer of the coaster and stitch around each circle using the zigzag. Pin the bottom layer of the coaster on top and carefully sew around the edge of your flower with a straight stitch, leaving a petal and a half unstitched to turn the coaster right side out. Snip around each curve and into the corners to make turning right side out easier. You can use the base of a pencil or paintbrush to help push the petals into shape as you turn it right side out. Hand stitch the opening closed to complete your coaster. I love my Cricut Cut Fabric Coasters and they're actually the perfect accompaniment to these mugs that I made recently using the Cricut Mug Press. So I hope that you are now super inspired and brimming with ideas for fabric projects that you can create using the Cricut Maker 3. See you next time and happy crafting. Bye.